Hi everyone, I'm Ferdinand the Carpet Stacker and in this video I'm going to tell you the top 5 upcoming things I'm excited for Level 99 Games next expansion for Millennium Blades. So this next expansion is going to be called Collusion. This is not only the next big box expansion for Millennium Blades, but this is going to be the last expansion for this game. And now I know it's going to be a little bit of sweet for me because it is... Uh, so, oh, Million Blades has been a really great game that I've been playing uh, throughout. I think the two past two year, past two or three years, and there's a tremendous amount of stuff in there, and it's still a great game. They could they could put more expansion in, but I think they're ending on a high note, which is uh, probably a good thing. I don't want to see the a game that's dragged on too much and it kind of gets stale at the end. So I, I kind of glad but also kind of sad that they are doing it this way now from the filming of this video the kickstarter is now on it's going to go on until around the beginning of march i believe it ends on the first or the second but if this is something that you support go ahead and check them out i have a link in the description below and yeah they have a lot of cool things we have locked a lot of stretch goals in there and it's still keep going out and hopefully we can just keep uh, putting, just jam packing all these things into Millennium Blades. Anyway, let's go ahead and head up into my top five things. So here's number five. So this is of course a given, but there's gonna be a lot more sets and there is gonna be a lot more cards. And I believe there's gonna be around for this, uh, for new cards, about over 400 cards, maybe even reaching up to 500 cards. I mean, that, that's still a lot of stuff in there. This is gonna be even bigger from what to, uh, set rotation has uh, given us. And there's going to be just endless amount of gameplay and all the things. Uh, if you check the, some of the preview cards, these are just cards that are just going to be um, either recalling a lot of things from the previous games, but also adding a lot of new stuff as well. To go in a bit more in detail, there's going to be six expansion sets. That's the green sets that are cheap. Uh, we get uh, five premium sets and four master sets and of course more more of uh, these car uh, color core cards and they're going to be promos bronze silver and gold also i believe they're releasing two different crossover packs uh they have uh, i think one or two before but now we're going to have uh another 12 of these promos so always great to see these crossovers from other games so we got mage uh well mage wars actually before that uh burgo bros we have near and far and so many others that i can't just uh, name on top of my head but uh so excited for these and i love this immersion of other things outside our world so this just just makes this game even more meta moving on to number four we're going to get six really cool characters and they i believe they have released the abilities for these of course they're going to be still working on these but six uh, new characters there's one that's kind of based on a rules lawyer one that is the print like a self-aware printing press of the game itself I mean, it's just wacky and uh crazy there's even a Captain Ghost that has died a long time ago I mean Captain Cheetah <laughs> and he's gonna play cards as he would cheat so uh, really cool that now it's expanded to even more play uh, playable characters in there and they're not just available for the competitive game but also in the cooperative game you can find in set rotation. My number three which is the feature in Collusion are team battles and this is a new complete new mode for the game itself still competitive around there and they're also going to add a six player so now you can play two versus two versus two the three versus three or in the like of that or you can still you know play two versus two but well uh, what they're doing is they're you're not going to play as one of your char the characters in the original game instead they're going to give you a team ability so you get a ability that is shared with your team to use into the tournaments and the deck building process number two are the new rules now i did explain one of them already which is the team battle mode but they are going to revise some of the rules and clarify a lot of things in the game that needed to be clarified <laughs> So one of the new things that are going to be changing is how the game is going to be set up. So the rules are available on the Kickstarter right now. You can uh, download them. You can't really play them, unfortunately, because one of the new things they're adding are NPCs. And the this is going to change one of the... I would say not... Well, for me, it wasn't the problem, but I guess it's a problem for a lot of people, is the scoring for money. Uh, instead of scoring for money, you're going to be scoring for NPCs. And these are just little 
collections that you have to make in order to get VP from them. So there'll be three out, and what you're gonna do is you're going to try to collect cards and fulfill them, and you're gonna grab their cards and collect them as victory points. So it's, a, it's a also uh, not a rule change, but it's also a new rule to play with. Uh, one of the things I do like about one of the rule changes is the store deck. Now there's gonna be two store decks. They're gonna split the core cards with the card that you mix up too. First of all, that's gonna be really easy to just shuffle the whole deck. And uh, I used to keep everything in a blackjack shoe where you can just uh, swipe cards in there and because the tower is like, you know, literally just like gonna fall over all time and my cards are sleeved. And I just have to keep splitting the deck until they don't fall down. And I think this is just a great way. Also, the, with the core deck being split, there won't be like a flood of core decks uh, stuff in the store. And the other deck, which is going to be filled with just the expansion and the premium and the master set cards, are just going to be part of that store that we are all familiar with. So we got two decks of storefront. So a core deck, what anyone can just buy right on top. And we also get everything else. Uh, from the you know, original store deck, but a bit more concentrated on the stuff that we really like in the game. And finally, the number one thing I'm excited for, of course, a bigger box they're coming out with. So Collusion is going to be the big box that will house all the cards from the previous sets, all the mini packs in there into one pile. So this box is I believe it is going to be bigger than the original Million Blades box. I mean, that's I don't I don't care how big the box is. I just want everything to be hauled. And this has always been a problem for me. I don't even have a a insert for my even my own box. I don't know why I don't have it. Everything sleeve and everything there. It fits very tightly. Have everything from the set rotation, all the mini packs in there, and it's really really heavy. But I don't care about the weight. I don't care uh, if 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 um, I have to lug it everywhere. I'm just gonna be happy. We're just having a nice box to go with, with dividers. The dividers is going to be there and even stuff with the places uh, like the cash and the components in there. So I'm just really ecstatic and really super excited for this box when it comes out. They haven't had a design yet, but I know I'm sure it's going to be great. So that was the top upcoming things I'm excited for Millennium Blades collusion so i want to hear back from you what do you think about this set some of the things they're offering in this expansion do you like the idea of team battle mode uh, do you want a bigger box to hold everything in so there's so many things that to discuss for uh please leave them in the comments below and we can just talk about them further anyway i'm fernando carbon stacker and until next time see you later bladers